Hi, welcome back. So this is going to be a very quick continuation of the last video. And in this one, I'm just going to show you real quick how to switch out matte caps so that you can change textures and how to retexture some things yourself. Um, many creators give out free matte caps. Uh, you can look in pretty much any Discord server. You'll find them being given away for free. Or you can just look up free matte caps on Gumroad or Chingsi. I'm sure it'll, it'll show up on Chingsi. Um, today... We are going to use, where did I put it? These ones. Alright, for the sake of making it quick, I'm just going to copy all of these into my project. I'm just going to drag them into the window here in Assets. And we're just going to wait for them to all load. Okay. So this is the easiest way to change a texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Panty here and we're gonna drop down the menu, um, unlock the shader, and then we're gonna scroll down until we see matte cap. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here, we're going to make sure this is set to white so we can see our matte cap in full. We're going to take our desired matte cap and we're going to just drag it into the matte cap section here. Bam, all of a sudden you have latex panties. You don't want latex panties, you want something that looks like, what is this, the inside of a, a gumball? Bam, you have the inside of a gumball. You want pretty sakura flowers? Bam, weird shiny sakura flower texture. You want... A different kind of latex, bam, a different kind of latex. If you don't like the bright white and the shiny part, uh, all you have to do is lower it down to like the grays, and boom, it's less shiny. You can do this with literally any matte cap and have a lot of fun. Very simple, very quick, very easy. Alright, done. Okay, so, what if you want to make your own texture, right? We'll start with this. So, there are several things you can do to go about this. Uh, if you want to make latex on your own, you're going to go down to lighting and reflections. You're going to go down to, where are you? <clears throat> Metallics and specular. You're going to check it. And you're going to have to play around a lot with this. The goal is to even it out. Just enough to look shiny, but not look like metal. So, in this case, we kind of already did it, which is nice. You can play with it more if you want to make it more, like, I guess glossy or less glossy. It just takes a lot of messing around with. Um, if you want to, you can also add glitter, which you just go down to special effects go down to glitter, check, uh, boom, now you have glitter. You can do a lot of things with your glitter. You can, one of my favorite things to do is make it to where wherever the shine is, is where the glitter shows up. Um, so for that, you just take your glitter angle all the way down. You don't usually do it that, do it that big of glitter though. There. And that way it's just a very subtle glitter. Some people like it more, some people like it less. It's up to you. Also, with the glitter, I'm going to turn the size up so you can see this better. You can use matte caps to change the color. So, let's say you want the glitter to be this pretty pink. You're going to put it in the color map here, and then all of a sudden, you have a very pretty, shiny, like, iridescent glitter. And yeah, that's it. That's quick. That's easy. Those are three quick ways you can edit materials to change the textures and make them look different. Um, if you want to, you can also go up to the top here and add maps, which you can look up maps on Google and stuff. I'm pretty sure this is a hair map, so it's not going to look good if I put it on, but it just, you can add like fabric textures and stuff onto it. Um, here's one, let's see if I can get it looking. Yeah, okay. See what I mean? So underneath the color, it'll show like the different textures that you used. But yeah, so that's it. I hope that was also helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!